if you've somehow managed to come here for advice, you've come to the wrong place. But this is my first PC build and I'm gonna record it. I'm gonna document it. I've got the new Ryzen uh, 3100. That's going in. The Vengeance uh, LPX DDR4 Cossier. I hope I've said that right. Don't cheap out on your power, so I haven't. That's what I kept seeing on other tutorials. So I've gone for the 500 watt EVGA, 80 plus rating. I'd not really thought about the motherboard being quite important, but I mean mother in motherboard kind of gives it away, doesn't it? I thought a CPU or a GPU was important, but this one it helps you upgrade in the future. So we've got the MSI B450 Pro Max. And then finally, we've got the lovely Corsair Spec 05. Budget, this is a budget build. It's definitely gonna need more than one person because, oh, definitely gonna need more than one person. There we go, I'm using my feet and my hands. We've got it out. Phew. That's massive. So I sold my MacBook. I've used Mac now for 12 years since uni. Don't really like the way that Apple's gone, really, with soldering everything in. Apparently they've started to stop doing that. Cost is just very, very high. Um, and we're living in tight times, so I thought I'd get a tower, I can upgrade this one. Back here, we have the Allen key. We'll get this panel off. All right, let's move those ones out of the way. In this one, we've got a fan. You've got your screws and stuff in there. Hard drive caddies, so there's three of those. You start off with the motherboard. I straight away made the first mistake of when you open this up, sharp components in the motherboard. I picked it up and I put my thumb straight through one of the sharp components. It's got an anti-static bag. You could ruin your motherboard. Don't forget to put this one on, Rob. If anyone could tell me what that is, write in the description below. It might be a nice MSI coaster, actually. Sticker. Carefully, carefully. Now, probably the hardest bit out of it all is putting the CPU carefully into the cup holder. Now, I've seen some things on the internet where this can break and a CPU isn't cheap, so wish me well. I have to be very, very careful with this one. So there's the triangle that I'm looking for. So there's a triangle just over here which means I have to line that up with the CPU. Oh, it's gone in. That's what she said. Oof, didn't like that. That was terrifying. These screws here were on way tighter than I thought they were gonna be. I've now loosened them and they should come straight off, but that was unbelievable. So that's difficult to take off without breaking your motherboard. Also, I forgot to mention, mate, been told you gotta to look after these ones, just in case you want to sell the motherboard on or the computer. This fan came with the CPU. Something they might not mention in other videos is you men are work your way round in the opposite directions of the screws. So don't tighten one up and then go to the next one, go opposites. This bit here, right here, tells you that it's this one and this one that needs to have the RAM in first of all. So that slot there lines up with these in here. Let's pop these. This is where it goes horribly wrong, isn't it? There we go. Oh, there we go. As a beginner, I'm having to say that you have to be a lot stronger with the motherboard than I would want to be without it breaking. This is terrifying. Ah, just worked out that if you push on the sides, it goes in easier than pushing on the middle. And there she blows. She's looking good. Got a bit lost, not gonna lie. And now I'm gonna put the motherboard in here. This one needs to go on straight away though. Not modular. Oh, you're making a rubbish PC. It's not modular. Got my non-modular PSU, and I was getting worried about the screws. I mean, that's why I've had a little pause, and I've realised that I've been lifting this out, and oh, screws right here. I was worrying about absolutely nothing. I'm going fan facing down. Obviously, this facing out the back. From beginner to beginner, little little torch is it like head torch. This one's a bite torch. Just hold it in my mouth. There we go, so that's that one, that one, that one, and that one. I just hope I've screwed it in the right places. Make sure it's secure. Make sure you've got the right screwdriver, because that's too big and I've got the other ones too small. Make sure you've got the right tools. Good cable management is also a priority to someone as like a beginner like us. 
I've put the non-modular power cables through the back. I'm not having it messy. I've just put the motherboard in um, off camera because when I checked the screws were correct with the back before I put it in. And also I started getting into concentration mode and so I've made sure that it's gone in without anything hitting or breaking. So now I'm gonna try and install the screws. Be really careful, I when I was tightening it, your screwdriver can go afray and if it digs into the motherboard, you could KO your motherboard. And that's without me already probably putting a static charge through it. We're now up to plugging in the cables. This part is gonna be tricky because you've got the power to these up here, which is gonna be the trickiest part. I will do a little bit better cable management when I know it's good to go. I think we're almost there. We've got CPU plugged in over here. We've got the main board plugged in there. The GPU will plugged it, be plugged in by this one. Um, the fan, I have no idea. I've plugged it into fan two down here. There's, there's a fan pump at the top, but I've just gone for fan two. These bits concern me. Don't know whether I've got those ones the right way around, but that's for your power and for your reset button. Um, the USB 3's plugged in, HD audio. I've put the wiring around the back. I will do some cable management once I know it boots up. First mistake. I'm gonna have to remove the motherboard because those right there are meant to be the other side. So that's annoying. I've got to a point now where this has been a lifesaver. Definitely get some form of screw holder. And I've replaced the motherboard. Oh, so many things to think about. There's a pin just there. You've got to think about scratching the back side of your motherboard which i hadn't thought about so i have to be really careful with that i hope i haven't ruined the back of it i've replaced these on this side and i've got so confused i don't even know if that's right now wow that was not easy so now just got the graphics card to put in there i did a little bit of wiring maneuvers so now it's not too messy i've put the hard drives in also removed these two here that's heavy that's probably the weight of my blooming macbook no one tells you about this bit, do they? Well, that goes in like that then. I'm an idiot. Popped in. Begin Such a beginner. I hadn't realised you were going to take the back bit off. So I nearly broke everything there. Tip to beginners, take the back bit off. There's a little bit of... So you've got to unscrew that to get the graphics card in. Right. Round two. Let's try again. That's sounding better. Oh, that's still not doing it. Oh, oh, it's booted, baby! <laughs> wow, 3100, that's awesome. I did it, I freaking did it. I can't believe it. Yes. Now to try and get Windows installed. <sighs> Don't do what I've done and think that your Windows 10 installer on your USB drive wasn't working because it was Mac formatted. It wasn't because it was Apple Mac formatted. It was because you hadn't opened the ISO, the Windows ISO, double click it, it opens up a folder, you drag and drop it, but also make sure that it's XFAT or MS-DOS, I believe. An hour of my life I'm never getting back, all because I didn't open the ISO. What a palaver. Might have broken one of my hard drives, backup hard drives. Not good, but I've used my Raspberry Pi. To format an NTFS Windows partition drive. Oh, goodness gracious me. We did it. We might have completely lost all of my old photos and everything for this because that's my old hard drive and it's not working anymore. So that's bad news for me. But we've finally got Windows up and loaded. NTFS, NTFS. That is the format of pen drive you need. And you need to open that ISO file and drag and extract it, drag and drop all those files into a pen drive. So I'm gonna go through the Windows installer now. Wow, Windows just won't let me install it at the moment. I'm having trouble after trouble. First of all, it was too slow at USB. Now it's the SSD isn't registering and I think it's because I formatted it on Mac. The Linux on my Raspberry Pi hasn't reformatted it, so now it's just booted straight into Linux on an old drive that I had on, on it. Nothing, no problems, boom, straight into an operating system. Why is Windows so difficult? 